For this week's video, I'm going to do a little cooking class, and that is, um, uh, we're going to cook a carbonara pasta bake. And so, what do we need? We need dirty dishes, an empty sink, some random clean stuff, kettle with a cup ready for some tea, a frying pan, a, pa a pot for boiling water in, an onion, garlic, hot dogs, frozen chicken, and some sauce that we can use later. Some bowls, we can put our chopped up stuff in, a strainer for the pasta, and uh, cooking uh, baking tray, and a random plate. Okay, let's get started. First thing we're going to do is stick the frozen chicken onto a plate. And we put the same plate into a microwave defrost for six minutes. Make sure it's on. Ugh, where's the light? The defrost is somewhere. Yeah, defrost and six minutes. And just like that, the chicken is defrosted. Now, moving on. And now we're going to cut up the chicken. Okay, now um, now that that's done, we've put the chicken into a nice little bowl, which will sit there for now. And before we move on, I would say to wash all your stuff before moving on. And so wash the knife and wash the cutting board that you're using. But as they're drying, I got I got a new chopping board, and I'm going to use a new knife. That's a bread knife. This knife. And what we'll do is I'm going to place you here. I'm going to. I've done a cooking course in Thailand, and uh, they taught a few little tricks. So when cutting, I'm left-handed, so I'm going to put it like this. Keep your knife on the on the thing and just kind of like go down like that. And I can't do it very fast yet, but. You can get some speed into it when you want to. What I would say is obviously if you're under 18, get permission from an adult or a supervisor while you're using the knife. Now that the, that, that is done, what we will do is we're going to stick them into a bowl. So just careful not to drop any when you're um, doing this. And now we're going to do the same for the garlic and the onions. Now what we are going to do is we're going to um, fill the pot 
both with water, so uh, get it there, half on. It goes onto the pot, or the stove rather. Um, what I'm going to add in here is uh, sea salt, which will raise the boiling temperature of the water, and uh, so it doesn't like boil all over the place. So we'll go. Here we go. Now we're going to uh, put the pasta into the water. So, bear with me. And here we go. And yeah, there we go. I'm going to add a bit more water in just to so it boils a bit better. Next, we're going to put some butter into a frying pan. Now we're going to let it melt and then we'll start frying some stuff up. A quick note, just remember to keep stirring the pasta and uh, so it doesn't stick to the bottom and burn into the um, thing. Um, just keep stirring it regularly and um, now for, um, for frying, as a rule of thumb, the chicken would go first because um, it would take longer to cook. All you're looking to do with the hot dogs, because they're already kind of pre-cooked in the pot, well, the ones that I use anyway. So you just want them to kind of gently brown, and then uh, just before they brown, you can throw in the garlic and the onions, and you can fry them up. Now, after that, what we will do is we're going to throw the sauce in on top, and when we throw the sauce in on top, we'll start adding some of these things in. Okay, we're going to throw the chicken in. This might, I might have to put the phone down at some stage because I am just because it will be too awkward. So. Alright, now we're going to throw them in. And now the onions and garlic. Okay, now depending on what sauce you're using, and if you're making it from scratch or whatever, but with this one I need like half a pint of water to make the sauce. You put the water in and you shake it up, and then you pour it back in here. Check the pasta there. Okay. So depending on what kind of uh, mood you're in, I'd recommend black pepper and garlic. Uh, I'm going to put in some garlic granules. And I have, I have some pepper here. I'm going to use peppercorns, four seasoned peppercorns. And we'll put some parsley in just a little later on when we're going to bake it. Yeah. Now we're going to um, strain the water from the pasta. So, 
over this way. We're going to turn that off. I'm going to turn that down a bit. And where is my strainer? Here's my strainer. So just be careful because the water is boiling. Okay, so you're going to take the water, the pasta rather, and what you're going to do is you're going to put a layer of pasta down on the bottom. Show you that now. Just like that. And when this is done and you start getting that kind of soft texture that we're looking for, and this will go in. Give that another minute or two. What we are going to do now is put the rest of the pasta in under that, and then we're going to put some cheese on top. Uh, we're going to grate some cheese now. It's entirely up to you what way you grate the cheese. And I'm have a look at this here. And what we'll do then is put some parsley on top and stick it into the oven. And that the parsley is done, be very careful that the tray it can be hot at times. And stick it in there and close it right there. And now we wait. And whilst we wait for it to cook in the oven, what we will do is eat this freshly cooked lasagna out of the oven. The most important thing to do after cooking a big meal like this is to um, clean before you where you are cooking. So make sure it's nice and clean. You then Mr. Muscle if you have to make sure those hops are nice and good. The most important thing though, you must remember, leave the dishes for someone else to clean. That's a joke. Now, um, all you want to do over here is make sure, um, all you want to do is for the top of it to kind of glow a bit. Ooh. You just want it to kind of glow a little bit. Uh, it's looking quite nice. And when it's browned, it's done. And this is the finished product. Enjoy! If you tried this, let me know in the comments and see you soon!